Hey gang, Scott here. One of the new filters Photo Raw 2025 brings to the table is Match Color. And uh, this, you can think of it like color grading with uh, like kind of a one-click reference. And uh, it's a pretty interesting way that the, this, uh, this filter works. And in this video, I want to kind of go a little below the surface, explain and show you visually kind of what this filter is doing. And then we'll talk about some example use cases for it. When would you want to use this in your photography? And real quick, if you are adding on one to your toolkit, upgrading to Photo Raw 2025, please use the offer code that I have in the show notes. It'll save you money. Give me a little support so I can do more videos like this. Uh, so uh, I want to unpack match color and you know its its goal is to do what its name suggests. You, know, you choose a reference photo and it will match the color palette of that to you know your, your current you know image that you're you're editing. And I want to look at this grid here to help explain what it's doing. So this grid is a rough approximation of the zone system, you know, zone zero all the way up to zone 10, you know, dark to light. It's just a grayscale mapping. But the reason for that is it will give you a, a better visualization of what match color is doing a little bit under the hood. So we click on match color. And like all of our filters, we have an opacity, we can do masking, we have some styles that are built in. And then there's the match color area where you can actually select your own photo to uh, use as a reference. Um, and then some controls, right? We can adjust color luminosity and so forth. Let's start with uh, one of the styles and I'll choose Van Gogh Starry here, the Starry Night. And suddenly there's color on these swatches, right? You know, before and after. So, you know, what, what just happened? Well, match color looked at the reference photo, which we, lo we, we loaded by selecting a style and it analyzed that photo and said okay there are you know different color tones in you know different luminance areas and it's fundamentally doing a whole bunch of color grading but um, well beyond what we have with other color tools in photo raw where you know we could adjust you know, like say in, in, in one tool like in color balance we could do shadows midtones highlights and you know, kind of blend between them or split tone. You can go from you know uh, one tone to another. Here, you're, you're letting uh, you know you're letting the smarts of uh, of the AI go figure out. All right, what are all the different tones there? Lay them all out for me. Blend them together, and then we have further controls. We can increase or decrease the color on them the luminosity and you'll see all that like stuff shift around and luminosity is kind of interesting right you know when you look at it nominally it's almost like it was it was dancing there a little bit um, but what's happening is it is just brightening things up things are all getting brighter and it, it, it almost seems like more uh, attention is, is jumping up here and here in this particular color palette you've got contrast so you can increase or decrease contrast and of course saturation to make things uh, more or, or less uh, saturated, colorful. Um, the other uh, aspect of this match color is you have the styles. You can also load in your own photos. You can do a color fill, uh, but it, loading photos is the interesting part. You could load your own photo. I've got one here. It's a reference. And this one is a very different color palette, right? You know, a lot of pinks, soft oranges, very, very pastel. And you can see what happened. Well, you know, color or match color figured out all the different tones there. And it also decided to increase the color. I didn't do that myself. That's just there. I just, it, it, it's determined that based on the, uh, the color matching there. And of course we have our own controls here as well. So, um, you know, when would you use this? You know, why would you want to use match color? A couple of scenarios. One is you are trying to apply the look of one photo to another. Right? You load in a reference photo, you know, maybe you took a, a series of photos over the course of an afternoon, you've done work on one of them, you really like how it came out. You know, yeah, we have our, our, our copy and paste things and, you know, you can blast that across the same set of photos. But what about photos you took last week, last month, last year? You can take the same look and leverage the color tonality of it to the uh, the new photo. And that's a key thing, right? You're talking about the colors here. You know, not all the other stuff with contrast or detail or any of those things. It's the color palette. If you like something from one photo, you want that color palette applied somewhere else. 
a, a second scenario you might use this is with compositing, with layer blending. If you've taken several photos of the same scene and there's little bits of variation in the color, um, or you know, well, maybe a lot, but uh, I'm thinking as a, as a landscape person, I'll take a few photos of, say, the ocean and I'll blend them together to get the waves to do the right things. Your outdoors conditions are changing, the sun's ducking in and out of the clouds, and it might shift the color palettes a little bit. Match color is a way to align all of those so they're all you know, the same reference point, and then it makes your compositing that much smoother. Uh, let's look at one example of match color on an actual photo, so you can see, uh, you know, in as opposed to these little, like, little, you know, little square gray things, uh, something that's a little more uh, what you'll you'll experience when you're editing your images. There's a basic portrait here, and let's use match color to give it a little uh, a little finishing touch color grading wise. So uh, let's let's explore a couple of the built-in styles. Just hovering over those as I go. I kind of like that first one because uh, it was warm. Oh, Sunday is pretty nice too. So Sunday, maybe dial in that back a little bit. And you know, leveraging the color palette from a reference photo to treat you know an image here and. It can be any reference photo. That beach image I showed before that had the very, like, you know, kind of purplish, warm, uh, you know, soft orange pastel type look, that can also be a reference, right? And that one's certainly a little bit strong for this. You know, that's, that, I actually really kind of like that look. And it's just, it's, it's leveraging a pleasing set of color tones from a reference image applying it to a new one. And this can become its own reference image, right? I can export this portrait as a JPEG and bring it and use it as a, a reference for other portraits that have nothing to do with this portrait. It can be taken, you know, you know days, weeks, months apart. Uh, one other thing I mentioned was compositing. Let's just look at a quick example of how you can use match color in compositing because you can refer reference a layer as well as a reference image. And it's, it's real easy to do. It's right there in the tool. So here's a basic uh, texture blend. You can see the, the bottom layer is uh, very you know, uninteresting palm trees by themselves with a pretty empty, slate, gray, cloudy kind of day. And then this texture got blended on top of it. But looking at the thumbnail of the texture itself, you can see there's some, some interesting tones in there. Well, this is where color match can help us out. I'll select my bottom layer here and in the effects, Let's add match color. And one of the references, we can refer to other layers. And this says layers, and here's that texture I'm using. And we'll see a change, right? Here's the reference. And so, yeah, there's a lot more going on here. Some warmer tones that's adding some things that are nice to the palm trees. It is affecting everything. You'll notice a shift throughout the photo because if you recall, these grays and, and, and muted tones in the background, you know, those are all picking up the color grading from the reference image. And if that's too much, you know, I can I can change this. I can I can I can play around with the settings there. Maybe I want less contrast. I'll turn back on my my uh, my texture layer. We can see the difference that that's having on the blend, and you know. You can decide whether you like the, you know, like the flat blue type look, or you like something with a little more punch. You know, match color can be backed off somewhere in between. You have all that control there. But the the key thing is that taking one of the uh, layers that I want to blend, in this case the texture, and applying that color palette to the other layer that I want to blend, in this case these trees, is helping me, you know, get a, a little more of a pleasing alignment between the two. And this can work for you know all sorts of photos. That's where you know, match color is quite helpful when you are compositing to get things closer to uh, I'll say a norm, so that when you're doing your composite, things just blend together more nicely. And you still have you know on compositing you've got you know blending modes and and all sorts of things that can can shift and push around the way that things blend together. But if you're trying to do something with maybe even some basic masking, uh, you know having similar color tonality makes your masking job easier. You don't have harsher lines. Everything just smooths together well. 
I hope you found the video useful. You got questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.